Wang Dan Song Dynasty. Wang Dan C. 957, 6 October 1017, courtesy named Ziming, was a major politician in the Song Dynasty, serving as the Grand Counselor from 1006 until shortly before his death in 1017. Well trusted by Emperor Zhenzong, Wang Dan was given plenipotentiary authority over some matters after 1008. Wang Dan is generally remembered as a faithful and virtuous official, mainly because he kept a low profile, recruited talented men to the bureaucracy while blocking his notoriously unscrupulous colleague Wang Qinyuo from advancing for most of his tenure. But Wang Dan also flattered and encouraged Emperor Zhenzong's excessive and ridiculous Taoist pursuits, for which he expressed regret on his deathbed. Early Life Wang Dan was born in 957, or January 958, during the later Shu, possibly in Wei County or Nanal County, where his father Wang Yu Wang Yu served as a county magistrate during that period. His ancestral home was Xin County. When he was three years old, the later Zhu was overthrown and replaced by the Song dynasty. Wang Dan enjoyed studying from a young age. In 980 he passed the imperial examination with honors and was assigned to govern Pingjing County as a magistrate. The circuit fiscal commissioner Zhuan Yanxi Zhao Chengyan Zhao Cheng Yan was very impressed by his governing and betrothed his daughter to Wang Dan. In 984, after completing his assignment in Pingjing, Wang Zheng was assigned to manage the silver mine in the Tan Prefecture. Through the recommendation of Tan's prefect He Chengju, He Chengju, Wang Dan was transferred to the capital Kaifeng's palace library, where he worked as an assistant editorial director Zhu Zuo Zuo Lang. He worked on the compilations Wen Yu and Ying Hua and Shi Lei Shi Lei poems. He was promoted to assistant director of palace administration Dai and Zhang Cheng. In 985, Wang Dan was assigned to Zheng Prefecture to serve as the controller general Tong Pan. Two years later, he was transferred to Hao Prefecture. In 990, Wang Yucheng recommended him to become a circuit fiscal commissioner. But as Wang Dan preferred to work in the capital, he presented a paper and was assigned to work in the Historiography Institute. In 991, he became a drafter Zhai Zhai Gao, a post his father had filled just ten years ago. He impressed many colleagues, and Lai Hang Lai Hang, who graduated from the same examination class, valued him highly. Kayan Yuishui Kayan Yuoshui was convinced he could become a grand counselor. Becoming a grand counselor, Zhao Guangyi, posthumously known as Emperor Taizong, died in May 997, and was succeeded by his son Zhao Heng, posthumously known as Emperor Zhenzong. Under the new monarch, Wang Dan was first made a draft to Shi Ren in the Secretariat. A few months later, he became a Hanlin academician while being put in charge of two offices, the Bureau of Personnel Evaluation Shen Guan Yuan, and the Memorial Forwarding and Vetoing Office Tong Jin Yin Tai Feng Bo Si, it was said the young emperor had rather favorable impressions of him. When Kayan Yuishui offered to retire, he was asked by the emperor to recommend someone in the central government bureaucracy for promotion. Kayan Yuishui answered that he found Wang Dan suitable for important roles because he had the requisite virtues and reputations. The emperor replied, This is exactly the person in my mind. In March 1000, Wang Dan and two other Hanlin academicians were put in charge of the imperial examination to recruit new scholar officials. Emerging from ten days of seclusion in the examination rooms, Wang Dan was immediately made a supervising secretary, Jie Shizhong, in the chancellery, as well as an administrator of the Bureau of Military Affairs. In April 1001, Wang Dan became the vice director Shi Lang of the Ministry of Works and vice grand counselor Kanjai Zhengxi, which enabled him to participate in policy discussions in the administration chamber with the emperor. As grand counselor, during Wang Dan's tenure, the civil service examination system saw some important institutionalized developments, including in 1007. The practice of protecting a candidate's anonymity was extended from the imperial examination in the capital to the departmental examinations in the provinces. 
In 1015, the Bureau of Examination Copyists Teng Lu Yuan was established to copy examination papers to prevent candidates' handwriting from being recognized by examiners. Between 1007 and 1011, the official promotion system through controlled sponsorship was fully developed, although Wang Dan's role in these changes is unclear. Historian Edward Cracky argued that Wang Dan must be behind them, being not only an influential grand counselor, but also an experienced examiner. Wang Dan also sponsored and recommended many talented men for promotion. At least five men he recommended became grand counselors. Ku Zhen, who had been grand counselor before, Lai Dai Lai Dai, Wang Zheng Wang Seng, Zhang Shixun Zhang Shizun, and Lu Yijian Lu Yijian. Notes and references Tak Ta et al. Eds, 1345. Songshi History of Song in Chinese. Lai Tao 1183. Zhu Zhizhai Tangjin Changbian, Extended Continuation to Zhizhai Tangjin in Chinese. Cahill Susan E. 1980. Taoism at the Sung Court. The Heavenly Text Affair of 1008. Bulletin of Sung Yuan Studies 16, 2344. JSTOR 23,497,469. HSU when HC 1976. Wang Tan. In Frank, Herbert Ed. Sung Biographies. Franz Steiner Verlag. PP 1147-53. ISBN 3 minus 5 hundred forty four before we do it ready to be never minus 3. Lao Napkin, Huang Kuan Chung 2009. Founding and Consolidation of the Sung Dynasty under Tsu 960 976, Tsu 976 997, and Chen Tsu 997 1022. In Twitchit, Denny C. Fairbank, John K. Eds. The Cambridge History of China, Volume 5, Part 1, The Sung Dynasty and Its Precursors, 907 1279. Cambridge University Press, PP 206 278. ISBN 978 Ceraminus 521 Minus 81248 Minus 1. Wyatt, Don J. 2008. In Pursuit of the Great Peace, Wang Dan and the Early Song Evasion of the Just War Doctrine. Battlefronts Real and Imagined War, Border, and Identity in the Chinese Middle Period. Palgrave Macmillan. PP 75 110. ISBN 978-1-4039-6084-9.